Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cent. Now, while I'm on the road, I got off late tonight from, from church, from midweek service. So I'm trying to get a few videos up. What I want to share with you is how demons will try to sneak up on you in the middle of the night. They love to creep and crawl around in the dark. They love the dark. And one thing that you have to be aware of, sometimes you have to change your game plan. Now, yes, it's true that Jesus gave us all authority to tread on scorpions, to tread on demons, to cast them out and all of that. But there are certain ways that you can pray and preventative measures that will stop them from even coming close to you. When you have a demon convinced they don't want to tango with you, that will really help eliminate a lot of hassle. Now, let me share this with you. I know a lot of you have seen uh, many of my older videos where I shared about demonic encounters and how I've been attacked harassed, attempting, you know, where they attempted to smother me and <laughs> paralyze me and all that kind of stuff. Okay. What I want to share with you is I noticed that since I started praying this one prayer, a lot of that has diminished tremendously. I mean, being attacked by demons was kind of a way of life for me. I figured it came with the package of being a born-again Christian because they see true Christians as a threat. All right. Well, here comes a little strategy that some of you may want to try. Ever since I started praying this particular prayer, I noticed, a de a, a, oh my goodness, the attacks have diminished almost to nothingness. Now, last night, they tried. They tried to get started on me. And I noticed that God always makes me aware of it lately as I'm dozing off. I catch it. I love that, that God keeps me aware. I catch it, and I noticed that as I was dozing off and I started to drift into a little bit of a dream state, I saw a face looking at me. And it was a handsome man, a handsome face with a goatee, good looking, uh-huh. And as he looked, his face began to contort into an evil creature. And I saw a glow coming from one of his eyes. Then both eyes started to light up. And I said, oh, stop it. Get up out of my face. Go back to hell where you came from. Don't be messing with me in my sleep. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, Jesus and command you never to return. Okay, now I'm dozing back off. I forgot I hadn't prayed that prayer. I'm dozing back off. And I see a lady. And a lady, I'm dreaming. Okay, I'm getting ready to have a nice little dream. And she looks innocent. And then her face begins to contort. And her eyes begin to glow in this evil expression. And she, this cape, her hair turns into a cape. And, now, and I'm like, oh, get out of my face. Just go in Jesus' name. And I said, okay, Lord, keep all evil. This is the prayer. This is the prayer. Keep all evil as far away from me as the east is from the West. That prayer works, you guys. That was the end of the, the little demonic attempts. I slept like a baby and had the sweetest little dream. Now, there are times I do forget to pray that prayer, but for the most part, I pray it. And I try to cover myself for the week, just in case dum dee dee dum dum dozes off before she gets that prayer out of her mouth. Now, what I want to tell you is the other thing you can do is this works as well. I cover both ends. Usually when I pray that prayer, Lord, keep 
all evil entities, everything as far away from me as the East is from the West. Then I turn it around and then I take authority and I say, I command all evil, all forms of evil, all expressions of evil to stay as far away from me as the East is from the West, never to return in the name of Jesus. Well, they're always going to try to return. But that's why I pray that prayer so often. And I would advise you to do the same. You might find your attacks diminishing tremendously. It will give you the sweetest dreams and the nicest restful sleep. And you might even wake up looking a year or two younger because you're not spending all night doing battle. <laughs> anyway, I hope that helps some of you who have to deal with that. God bless you.